Hi everyone, and welcome back to this ongoing series where we're making generative art using Rust. This episode, we will be introducing the image proc library and using this to draw lines in a rotating color wheel. The first thing to note is in cargo.toml, where we already have the image proc crate initialized, so we don't have to do anything here. And moving to main.rs, the only thing we need to do to use this library is import the function we want to use using the statement image proc drawing draw line segment mute. Next, we need to set up the constants. We set the number of repetitions to 10. Then we create a new const called size of type u32 and a value 64. Then we scroll down to the section labeled to do, put your code here. First, we calculate the frame fraction radians by multiplying the frame fraction by 2 times pi. Then we set the level of green color in the line at this point using the cos of frame fraction radians multiplied by 255 and cast as a u8. The possible values of this will be between 0 and 255. Next, we set the amount of blue for the frame by using the sine of frame fraction radians and multiplying by 255. Like the green, the range will be between 0 and 255. Now we create a variable to hold the color value, which is an RGB value, with the values of 100 and then the variables from above of green and blue. Then we create a variable to hold the center point x coordinate, which is just the width cast to f32 and divided by 2. And similarly the center y, which is the height divided by 2. Then the line point x, which is the x coordinate of where the line will go from the center, which is the center point plus the sine of the frame fraction radians multiplied by the center x. And we calculate the y component of the line destination by multiplying the center y by the cos of the frame fraction radians. Now we call the new function we imported from image proc crate, draw line segment mute, first passing in the image as a mutable reference followed by a tuple of the center x plus the line point x, and the center y plus the line point y. Then we pass the center point of the image with a tuple of center x and center y. And finally we pass in the color we'd like the line to be, which we set above. Now we call the run build script to create the docker image and output the files. This may take a few minutes. And now we can see our output files in the data outputs folder. If we click on the GIF, we should see our new line color wheel. And if we click on the video, we can see that that's worked as well. Thank you for joining us today. If you've enjoyed the video and would like to be informed when the next one is out, please subscribe and turn on notifications, as this helps to grow the channel. For now though, I'll wish you a good day and hope to see you again soon.